Good afternoon, folks. A little Sunday afternoon. A little iced coffee. Turn the fans off so it's not uh, all kinds of loud in here. There we go. Now we just got the highway noise. That's all. How's everybody doing? Good. That's good. We're just out here trying to escape the heat. Didn't do that well this weekend. Oh, uh, kind of. I worked Saturday. So Pilot got to stay most of the day in the hotel. Yeah, I mean, yeah, a lot of the day in the hotel. Uh, that was good, obviously, for him. Stay out of the heat. After that, I crashed. Because, uh, yeah, I mean, a couple days getting up at 3 something, 4 something a.m. Friday, I woke up late and I didn't wake up till 4 something. Uh, wears on you just a bit, eh? So, Dr. Melissa wanted to know why the piss am I up so early? I got things to do. I don't got to be at work till five and it's a 12 minute bike ride, but uh, I got things to do. Plus, I mean, I'm always early. Eh, not always, but I always try to be early. So that means being at work at like 450, 445. So it ends up like just bumping everything backwards by a ton, you know? Not the end of the world, but when it's that early in the morning, you're like, holy shit, like, all right, well, if I want to have coffee and if I want to make breakfast, like, and enjoy it, not just scarf it down, uh, which, I mean, I scarf it down anyways, but I guess enjoy it as in not have to take it to go to then scarf it down. Apple seeds, pilot can't eat those. There is more than five seeds there. There's eight seeds. I remember a long time ago, I saw somewhere that like apples always have five seeds. I don't know, I don't know if that means that's a minimum. I don't know. I don't know. But we're doing a little prep for tomorrow, so I don't got to do as much in the morning. Smart. I know. Pretty much a genius. Uh, yeah, so worked Saturday. Didn't do a whole lot Saturday afternoon. I made Pilot hang out in the hotel while I took a nap. was then woken up by the phone in the hotel. And I'm like, ooh, the piss is calling me. And uh, that was the front desk. And the front desk is like, oh, hello. And I'm like, hi. And they're like, uh, so sir, we've, we've automatically extended you because you exceeded the checkout time. Uh, so we extended you by a day. So tomorrow you'll just have to check out by 11. And I'm like, huh? Huh? I don't understand. This is mid nap. So like I really was quite incoherent. Uh, yeah. So apparently the contractor booked me for a month 
instead of like multiple, like, I don't know. I don't know. But it got sorted out. I hit the guy up. I'm like, hey, uh, they told me I need to check out by tomorrow. What's going on here? Uh, he then responded like four hours later, spoke to the front desk. You're all set. Okay. I went down and confirmed this morning because trust but verify. Don't trust them motherfuckers. Never know what, you know, you never know. Uh, we're good. It's, we're in the clear. Everything's okay. Uh, I don't need to check out by today at 11 a.m. because I surely would have missed that one as well. Uh, so that was fun. Uh, what else did we do Saturday? Oh, brought, uh, I brought, I brought dog swimming. Uh, he went swimming for a bit. Is that mold? I mean, it doesn't matter. I would still absolutely eat it if it was mold. I just want to know. It's not. We're good. Uh, took pilot swimming. Uh, did some laundry. Uh, that's kind of it. Kind of a chill Saturday. Nothing, uh, nothing crazy by any means. Um, got ice cream again. The uh, place I go to or I went to that first time, man, they, I thought it was like a chain joint. It's not. I mean, it might be up here, but it's not, it's not a Dairy Queen. You know what I mean? It's not, it's not one of those big chains. Uh, it's called Mrs. and Me. Uh, M, M, R, S, and Me. Homemade ice cream. Bomb. So good. Uh, Pilot loves it, of course. It's probably the most the most treat human food he's ever had in his life. Um, but I mean, he's been really good. Knock on all the wood, because he's been really good. Uh, he hasn't chased Luella down the hall. Uh, I don't know if that's actually her name. I don't know. Uh, although it seriously would be so funny because <laughs> I put the, I put the don't disturb sign on when I leave for work. Like if I forget one day and they just open the door and pile it like, boom, straight out the door. He's like, ah, what's up? I want to play. And she's just losing her mind. Like, I want to see that on camera. Like, I want to see that. <laughs> oh, I think that would be so funny. Like, so funny. Uh, anyways, uh, he's been super good in the hotel. He doesn't make a peep. Like, he, do he, doesn't, he doesn't make a peep. Um, what else? Oh yeah, so I got him a kitty cone, yes or set yesterday. Again, the first one. Oh, yep. Uh, the first one, uh, Tracy. I got him after the porcupine situation. So let's go check up on. Oh, here we go. Live action, dog. What are you doing, bud? Huh? What are you doing? Huh? What are you doing? What are you doing? Are you okay after the porcupine situation? Are you? Are you? Huh? How's your nose? Can we see your nose? Hey. Hey. Can we see your nose? Everything's good. He's fine. Oh, God, he always knocked the phone out. 
What do you say, bud? Huh? What do you say? Are you good? Hmm? Butt scratches? Hmm? So he's fine. Thank you for caring, Tracy. Um, he's good. Didn't care. Um, may or may not have given this update. Uh, I did get a hold of a vet after that happened. They said he doesn't need any type of antibiotic. He's fine. As long as you get all the quills out. If there's some that remain, that could end up like fostering some type of uh, infection. But I got them all out because I'm pretty much a pro. Uh, you know, Dr. Melissa, Dr. Allen kind of runs in the family. <laughs> no big deal. Don't, don't beat yourself up over it just because we're fantastic. Um, so that's, uh, that's that situation. He's fine. I mean, seriously, never skipped a beat. Like, he got whacked with those quills. And, like, if I didn't look down, I never would have known. Because that was the only, the only giveaway was the fact that there was something sticking out of his nose. Like, that was it. He didn't act any different. Uh, he didn't squeal. He didn't, he literally didn't do anything different. Uh, that was the first kitty cone that he got was on that, pretty sure it was a Friday. Um, and I talked to Dr. Melissa about this. I asked for a kitty cone and like the, ch I'm, I have pilot with me. Like we walked there. So he's there with me on the leash. She sees me waiting in line. She's like, Oh, what can I get you? I'm like, Oh, can I get uh, a waffle cone? with two scoops of maple walnut for me. Uh, and then can I get a kitty cone, uh, a vanilla one with just like a little bit of, a, a little bit of ice cream in there. She's like, oh yeah, it's fine. Dude, she comes back with this freaking kitty cone and it's a, it's a kitty cone, you know, it's, it's smaller than the height of this. It's probably like that big, you know, it's small. It's a, it's a little one. But the ice cream's like piled up here. Didn't I ask for a little bit of ice cream? I mean, granted it was 375, which blew my mind, but whatever. It's soft serve, by the way. I don't know if I mentioned that. Which, it doesn't matter what it is. But uh, I, I looked at her, I go, uh, can you just like, scrape like a little bit off of that or something like this is for my dog <laughs> she's like oh <laughs> yeah that's fine and like she she was super nice like thanks you're trying to do me a favor of like not like jit me for like the 375 which is it's appreciated it really is like thanks for not trying to like screw me over like i get it you're like 12 working at an ice cream shop and you're not going to make the decision to not charge me 375 and charge me like two dollars instead which is fine i didn't ask for a different price like i i, I get it i'm going to pay 375 for a cone with a splash of ice cream in it i got it i'm cool with it never even mentioned it but like she just tries being nice and like doing like the right thing you know what i mean like loading that sucker up i'm like bro like, Pilot's gonna have the shits. He's never had that much ice cream. He's never had ice cream, period. Like, ever. He was fine. He didn't have the shits. But, I'll tell you what he did have, though, was some dry skin. Uh, I did notice, like, a couple days after that, he was super, like, uh, flowery. Like, uh, powdery. From scratching. So I'm, I'm betting that uh, because he had so much ice cream or so much like dairy, it uh, screwed up with his skin. But so this time, like it was the same chick, same chick. Me and Pilot again, we're in the line again. This time I learned, I asked for one scoop of maple walnut because uh, that the 
the waffle cone and ice cream was probably as tall as the freaking uh, kettle. Uh, I mean, the cone was like yay tall. And then the ice cream, the two scoops was like almost the same height. It was unreal. And like, it would have been better almost if it was just two scoops on top of the cone. But no, they filled the entire cone with ice cream, which is like phenomenal. I mean, that's like amazing. No one does that anymore, I feel like. But, like, I, I just didn't know what I was getting myself into. I had just eaten dinner. I go and I, we walk there, get two scoops. I'm like, two's fine. That's, like, acceptable because they have one, two, and three. All right, I'll go with the medium, like the middle ground. Cool. No big deal. That was a lot of ice cream. Don't get me wrong. I ate it all. But uh, I knew for this time, you know, one scoop, it's good. And uh, I make sure I tell her again. I get a kitty cone for my dog. Just a little bit of ice cream in there. You know, just a little bit. Uh, this time she did perfect. She did a little, a little schmutz. Good to go. Um, so we did that yesterday. Today, uh, where did we go? Oh, we went up uh, in New Hampshire. Uh, to Lake uh, Winnipesaukee. Winnipesaukee. Hey Doc, I still got the wraps. Ooh, this one's got, do oh, this has got dog hair on it. Yikes. I'll be honest, I haven't used the wraps in a little bit. It's all right. Wow, that one's got a log. I gotta wash that one. We're getting back to it though, don't worry. It's clean now. Well, that might have made it worse. The inside's good though, and that's what counts. So we're just gonna roll with that. Uh, Lake Winnipesaukee. Uh, went up to, we went and hiked Mount Major. That took like an hour. It was online, supposed to take like two and a half, maybe three hours. Um, really, that's just saying Pilot is so fit. Uh, no, really, it's just saying the rest of America is a bunch of fat fucks. Um, oh well. So we did that in like an hour. So then we found somewhere else to hike and we hiked that one too. And half the time as well, cause that one stays, that was supposed to take four hours. That took an hour up and an hour down. Uh, and I wasn't running. Like I went like this, like sandals folks. I was in sandals the entire time. Whole time, both hikes, like no ankle support no good footing like I'm pretty sure I have a blister because the toe loop toe loop got dirt in it and it was like sandpapering my toe uh, so it's not like I was out there like trying to set a world record for how fast I could do this hike like nope we we're just bebopping along but oh well I guess so we did that. I stopped and got a burger at this joint uh, Surfside. If you're ever in New Hampshire by Lake Winnipesaukee, more specific, Meredith, New Hampshire. Um, Surfside Burger Bar, bomb. Super freaking good. Uh, way good. 
way, way good. Um, no complaints there at all. And now we're here. It's about five o'clock, 5.30, something like that. Last time I checked. So it's probably later than that. Cause you know, bebopping around, doing this, doing that. Uh, like I love the dog, love him. He's great, he's an awesome companion. Like, love him. Man, like, I'm not saying I want to see him die. I'm not saying I want to see him disappear. Like, that would suck. But the day I don't need to deal with his fur, that's going to be a good day. Now, I, I know, like, I'm going to have to deal with it, like, for a while because like the dog hair is just going to still be everywhere but yeah man dog hair that stuff is something else something else it's quite annoying honestly And his is like, I don't, I don't know what I would want. Like, I don't know if I want a dog with coarser hair. Cause that's just like annoying because as Dr. Melissa knows that like weaves itself into your shit. Uh, and then we got like pilot hair where it's so fine that it's, it's like dust. It's just everywhere. Everywhere. Like. Oh, like your dog can't reach the fifth story of your McMansion? Don't worry. His hair is up there. Like, don't worry. It's so light that it just like, like floats on up. Like, see you later. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, oh. What did Martha just do? Is she, she just scavenged and put stuff in that dumpster? What are you doing? Oh, what? Oh, she's smoking a butt. She's, can you guys see this? Oh, where is, oh, where is it? Oh, here we go. Come on. Where? Oh yeah, she's right there. Oh, it zoomed in all the way. Where's my finger? She's right, uh-oh. She's right by that black car. What a savage. Throwing stuff out in somebody else's dumpster. Smoking cigarettes like a fiend. She's gotta be in her late 60s, maybe 70. Age doesn't define her. Young hooligan. It's good stuff. Uh, well, I think that's about all I got to ramble about. I'm a little upset there's no Kroger's up here. I like this peanut butter. It's, I like it because of what it is, not how it is. Does that make sense for you guys? Hmm? Uh, it's real runny. I don't like that. I do like that there's only like three ingredients. No, excuse me, two. Focus, right here, roasted peanuts, salt. That's it, two ingredients, zero added sugars, zero, no oils, no nothing. It's my last jar. 
This stuff is from uh, Kentucky. I haven't been peanut buttering that much, but the uh, the Hannafords up here, that's like the grocery store conglomerate up here in Maine, and New Hampshire for that matter. Uh, their bakery has a mean cinnamon raisin bread, like mean. This stuff's really good. It's a nice like mid-morning snack. A little cinnamon raisin bread with peanut butter. <clears throat> Gotta wait for my wrap to dry. Uh, yep, that's it. That's all we got. Oh. Coffee cup. So way back when I was in school, I burnt the shit out of that top, like the original one from uh, that company. And I went to Walmart and got a new top. Cause this is just like your, your run of the mill, like 20 ounce, like tumbler thing, right? So nothing crazy. Like you just, just get a universal top, right? Uh, no, you can't do that. They're not all made the same, even though they're all made the same. Uh, so long story short, if I put hot coffee in this and I close this flap, right, which is where you drink out of, if I close that, if I shake this and it's hot, the lid comes off, completely off. Uh, it doesn't come... It doesn't come completely off it. It comes completely unsealed, which is an issue. Because I ride my bike to work. And while riding my bike, that tumbler is in my backpack, shaking. Friday was a day to say the least. Uh, I got to work with that much coffee left. The rest of it was in my backpack. Um, yeah, that sucked. Hardcore. Because I didn't have coffee. And my backpack was freaking soaked with coffee. And my stuff in my backpack was soaked with coffee. Uh crappy and then I'm like you know what maybe I just need to get like a new water bottle with like a screw top lid if it's all stainless I don't mind having like the first half of the day for my coffee no big deal a quick rinse or not even just fill it with water and it's my water bottle cool good to go uh I can't find one made in America. Can't find one made in America. One more time. I can't find one that's made in America. That's a problem. <sighs> There's one Liberty Bottles, but They're doing the whole like, they're doing the whole craftsman thing. If you haven't been on the craftsman train or like, uh, nah, craftsman hits it pretty hard. Uh, made in USA with global components. So like, all right, so what does that mean? Like, I understand, like it was, assembled at some point or at some stage it was made assembled worked on in america something had to be finished of the product but it's all with like bullshit chinese japanese whatever components not necessarily bullshit ones but like outsourced components it's the same with these bottles 
they're American, they're American made and designed and like colored and all that stuff with imported stainless steel. I worked at a stainless steel company in Kentucky. Like I know we make it. It's not like we don't make stainless steel in America. I mean, it's for price reasons, of course, but like, and that, like that bothers me. Like you're, you're doing the whole like made in America, but then like in fine print, oh, like with global components, like, come on, man. Ugh. Now, don't get me wrong. Not everything I own is from America. Like, I know that. But I have very consciously tried to, as of like a couple months ago, maybe upward, maybe upwards of six months, maybe, made a conscious effort to not buy anything that I don't need, like, immediately. Like, say, like, uh, I don't know. Like, I don't have anything I've needed immediately. Um, what's it? Something for work, you know what I mean? Like, let's say I really needed, like, a pair of safety glasses, and I can't go to work tomorrow unless I have them, um, and the only ones I could find are made in China. Like, I'm gonna buy my safety glasses so I can be at work tomorrow. Like, I have to do it. Like, it is what it is. But, this, like, coffee mug, water bottle thing, I don't, like, need a new one. Now, don't get me wrong. I don't want to keep spilling shit all over my backpack and the rest of my stuff. But that's why tomorrow I'm going to put my coffee mug in a gallon Ziploc bag. So if it does spill, it's in a Ziploc bag. Problem hopefully solved as long as the Ziploc bag doesn't have holes in it. Because I don't have any new ones. I have all repurposed bags. We'll see where it goes. I don't know. But, anyways, that was a solid rant for an afternoon. No updates on the van. Haven't done anything. The outlet that I want to install is still halfway installed. Um, and by halfway, I mean like barely. There's some random people here coming to see my dog, maybe? No, they're turning around. That's good. That'd be weird. Slightly. Hello. Have a good one. Like, I'm out of the way in this, like, parking lot. They, like, sought me out to turn around in front of me. All right. Oh yeah, that outlet's still half installed. Um, I need a snake. Dad has a snake, I just haven't been home since I came up here. So I guess I'll either buy one here shortly or I'll make a trip home, I don't know. We'll see. I mean, I could install the other half of the outlet so what I could do is install the other half of the outlet here, run the wires up, chase it back to back here. Because then all I need to do is run the wire up the wall because there's wire down here, run it up and it would, this would be the junction point and I just need to connect them and it'd be done. So I probably should do that at some point because uh, that would be smart. Yeah, I should probably do that, but we'll see. It's, uh, it's not bad. I mean, I haven't lit my bench on fire. I mean, I just boil my water right here. I mean, 
Not a whole lot can go wrong there. Anywho. Hi, right, gang. Have a good evening. Have a good day. Whatever. <laughs>